okay guys so let's begin with this uh, this particular video and uh, let's solve this particular problem first this is going to be a very easier uh, problem here so it is telling that a father is aged three times more than his son Ronit after eight years he would be two and a half times so two and a half times of Ronit's age after further eight years how many times would he be of Ronit's age so it's it's a kind of complicated once you read the question for the first time but if you keep on reading or keep on solving in the systematic approach it will be easier for you to solve so let's begin with the basics first so so for for uh, for the first thing that we don't know uh, age of Ronit we neither know, know the uh, age of uh, his father so so everything is unknown to us so for that case we need to assume something so let's assume let's assume the the age so Ronit's Ronit's present present age so let's assume Ronit's present age as it's equals to let's say X so let us assume that this is an assumption for us so if Ronit's present age is X we know that the father is aged three times more than his son Ronit so his father's so his father's present age will be three times the Ronit's age plus so so it's more than three the three times of the Ronit's so completely it will be 3x plus x equals to 4x now I found most of the students make a mistake a horrible mistake and at th this particular point they always think that his father is aged three times more than his son so definitely his father uh, so his son is x so definitely the age of his father will be 3x but this is not true why because it is saying that father is aged three times more than his son now if you just multiply this x into 3 it won't give you the father's age you need to add the actual age of Ronit because it is telling you that the, the father aged 3 times more than his son so it's, it's more than his son's age so you need to add your son's age to the father's age here to get the actual value that is 4x here so father is 4x and son's uh, age is few x so it's, it's in years everything here in years because we need to put some uh, unit there so this unit is years here okay so we get we get the values now what it is telling after eight years he would be two so once you get this assumed ages it will be easy for you because uh, a very important thing and very very easy thing about this age problems that in this case uh, we, most of the time we need to assume uh, somebody's age and once we assume somebody's age as an x uh, rest of the things are the variable and multiplication of age x so we can simply put the equation and we can get the value of x easily so that's it so it is telling that after eight years he would be two and a half times of Ronit's age so let's say let's say after eight years what will be the father's age so so father's age so let me write father's age father's age after eight years now the father's age is 4x so after eight years so let me take a color here yeah so after eight years what will be father's age so 4x now plus eight years right so this is going to be father's age after eight years right and it is telling he would be two and a half times of Ronit's age right so what will be Ronit's age there uh, after eight years so Ronit's age Ronit's age after eight years will be now Ronit's age is x after eight years it will be x plus eight now what the equation is telling us that this after eight years the age in this case in this case for his father two and a half times of Ronit's age so two and a half times that means that means if you put the equation you, you need to put so this is the father's age and they are telling this is two and a half times two and a half times more than the age of Ronit so this is the age of Ronit this is the age of his father right so according to the equation according to the question that the father's age will be two and a half times more uh, than his son so we get the value of this so once we get the value here so let's put the equation clear so this is the case so it will be 5 divide 5 by 2 into x plus 8 uh, should be here so what will be uh, 
uh, equation so let us solve the equation let's say 4x plus 8 equals to 5x plus 40 divided by 2 so now so it is 8x plus 16 equals to 5x plus 40 so now 3x if we put this 5x here in this side so it's 3x equals to 40 minus 16 and it will give us 24 so x equals to 24 divided by 3 so it will be 8 so value of x here is equals to 8 so x is 8 that means Ronnie's present age is 8 and his father's present age we know uh, we can calculate but what what the question what the answer uh, question is asked that after further eight years how many times would be would he be of Ronnie's age so actually actually if you look at the question after how many times would, would he be of Ronnie's age so it's simply they are asking us the 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 percent value or they are asking us the ratio actually the ratio of Ronnie's age to his father's age right so we need to find that ratio here so the ratio so father's age so what we need to find father's age after further eight years divided by Ronit's age after further eight years and that is going to be our answer now we know so let me change a color here for 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 better understanding so let's say yeah we know that uh, in in after eight years what is the age of his father it was 4x plus 8 so it was 4x plus 8 after eight years so we know further eight year means so the father will be eight year more older because that's for the further eight year and similarly for Ronith Ronith was like for normally sorry Ronith was x so Ronith was here x plus 8 further eight years will be added because that's what we are calculating so here what we get 4x plus 16 and we get x plus 16 so if we make a division so you know in this kind of situation what we can do we can simply do this right so simply they will cancel each other out so, so not normally don't let's let's say don't do this in this case so 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 let's say if this is the case so if this is the case uh, so normally what we know what we know here we know that we know that here in x plus 16 is uh, Ronnie's age and 4x plus 16 is the age of his father so what is going to be the ratio if we look at here if we take 4 out of the situation as a, as a common thing here so it will give us the value of or let's say let's put the value of x simply let's put the value of x and get the answer so let's put the value we know the value of x because we get the value here right so what will be the value if we put the va value of x here so it will be 4 into 8 32 plus 16 divided by we get a value of x 8 plus 16 so what is going to be the answer here so 32 plus 16 will be 48 and 8 plus 16 will be 24 so the ratio here is 2 so what is the ratio here the ratio here the ratio here is 2 right so let's see the answers here we comes the first option is the correct one so so the ratio will be 2 after 16 years after complete 16 years okay so that's the case so the take home message again you need to read this uh, information carefully and assume uh, anybody is a single age then find another age put the equation get the value of x then simply uh, do uh, do the solve the question according to uh, what they are they have asked and put the value of x in and then you can get your answer so that's kind of it guys and i hope that's helpful thank you